Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Making these videos takes me a lot of time and energy, and it is through generous support that I am able to continue to do so. A special thank you to my Patreon supporters for your continued encouragement and support. If you would like to support me and become a patron, here is the link and it will be in the video description as well. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel as this is also helpful. Thank you. This was an extremely busy day at Giga Texas, so I'm going to just give you a few of the areas that we're going to visit with the drone and some highlights, but uh, really there was just so much it's hard to capture in just a slide. Starting with the weather, it was generally pretty good. When I first arrived there, it was a little bit foggy and rainy, but then uh, it cleared up as, as the time went on. Starting on the uh, far west side across the highway, we see that there's more clearing going on and also some more earth moving, as you can see in the bottom right. Uh, coming back to the southwest area, we see some more of the deliveries of these prefab parts. If you see the arrow in the upper left, that is the extension for the roof. You can see on the bottom left how those would work, and they're going to be put onto the east side, and that allows the wall panels to be installed into the top. Also looking uh, near the stamping machine area, we see all of these stamping machine parts that have been uh, delivered in the last day or so. And as you can see, they're extremely heavy based on the trailers that they brought in. Looking also to the area where the pipe mill is. And we've seen that they've been extremely busy making lots and lots of pipes. Going to the east side, that uh, area we thought might be a parking lot turned out to be a parking lot, as you can see. Also, traffic entering the site today was the busiest I have ever seen. It was backed up for miles on both the north and south on the highway. Coming to the east, just next to the uh, steel structure, we see that they have been excavating these uh, large pits and putting those uh, pipes in. This is for stormwater management and possibly rainwater off the roof management as well. Going up to the north, we see the uh, electronic switch yard being put in. And also, as you can see in the arrow, we trace the uh, extended line where they're putting underground cables over to where they uh, uh, will go cross the road and then eventually enter into the building. Visiting the uh, paint shop building, we can see even more equipment has been uh, delivered. On the upper right, we can see that the wall panels that they've been lowering through the roof now extend about uh, six feet above the top of the roof. And you can see in the bottom right what the uh, wall looks like. And in the bottom left, we'll be talking about that uh, structure in just a minute. Looking in the uh, battery cell area, we see that the perimeter grade beam in the lower left-hand corner has extended all the way to the north and has now rounded the uh, beveled corner and heading to the north. Also, the excavation pit, they've uh, completed the uh, cementious uh, piers, have been adding more of the mud base, so we should see a rebar uh, being added as well. So overall, very, very, very busy day. Uh, this is the, some of the areas we visited with the drone, and hopefully this helps sets up the video. On my previous video on the 14th of March, I noticed that they had assembled this structure on the ground floor of the paint shop uh, area, and I didn't really notice it until after the video was done, so I thought I would do a little bit more research and look closer at it and see what it might be. To give you an idea of where it's located, if you see the casting machine area here, you can see where the bridge crane is. Off to the right, where that X is in the structure, on that ground floor where the arrow is pointing, is where this... Uh, assembled unit is located. So if we look at it a little bit closer, as you can see in the inset picture, you can see that it's uh, kind of got a lot of windows in it, kind of a uh, uh, beveled top to it as well. And uh, I'm thinking that this might be the post paint inspection area of Giga Texas. And uh, to give you an idea what that might look like, we can take a look at Shanghai and they have a structure that's very similar. And as you can see, it's got a lot of light panels in it, uh, a little area for the uh, newly painted uh, bodies to come through. And what this is, is where the inspectors come out and take a look at the uh, paint quality to see if there's any imperfections and that sort of thing uh, after the painting process is completed. So anyway, um, I think that this is what it is, but I'm not 100% sure, so I thought I would point it out and see what you guys think. Uh, let me know in the comments. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas.